I took a break for a while, but now I'm a motherfucking threat to you puss-ass rappers. I'm taking your chains, I'm taking your hoes, everything. I'ma slap you like your motherfucking pimp. Mark my word. I'm tired of you broke-ass motherfuckers always inquiring about this and that and being broke as fuck. Motherfucker, if you value someone's talent, you spend a bag. When you pay me right, I give you real production and talent. I don't take your money and run like these other motherfuckers. I give you what you give me. Respect, motherfucker. Be a man and spend a bag. If not, be a fat. And pretty soon I'm going to start exposing all these puss-ass, soft-ass rappers. Trust me, motherfucker. I was behaving. I'm a Gemini, motherfucker. You see, I got two personalities, motherfucker. I got seven. Seventeen, all right, motherfucker? One day I'm happy. One day I want to slap the fuck out these puss-ass rappers. I'm back, baby. But every day I want to lick your bitch's ass. That's on the real, though. Hold your bitches, motherfucker, because I'm back. I'm back. I was behaving. Now I'm off the leash that I was holding. Everybody watching this was a hating ass motherfucker. You know I'm a gangster. You know I'm a goon. You feel different. Say that shit when you see me in person, motherfucker. Yeah, however you want. Let's get it. What up, y'all? It's Coffee on the Vid, and you guys hear Stitches. He's back at it. All you rappers, beware. He was behaving. He about to be back on one. What do y'all think, man? Hit the comments. And you heard him saying there, he's a Gemini. He's got nine different personalities. And it's kind of interesting when you hear St Stitches say that, and then you take a look that, at everything that's transpired on uh, Stitches' journey in the rap game. As now you see him, you know, saying all this, like, watch out, beware, all that. But then at the same time, you see some of these motivating messages that he's uh, posting to the people, you know, like, don't be afraid to admit your mistakes. I, If I can do do it, you can do better in your life, too. Like, it's, it's, it's wild. You know what I mean? He's he's on one back to the brick in your face. Uh, cocaine energy, we'll say, because I don't think he's getting high again that was another thing about stitches that i did indeed respect that after that initial run he had where he was all over the place you know glorifying his lean use and cocaine use bringing cocaine on stage you know just wiling out throwing fake chains off uh bridges and just everything else you know after it all came to a crashing screeching halt he let everyone know yo listen I was on drugs like a motherfucker. I'm clean now. Uh, I, like all y'all need to do the same thing. If if your uh, situation is spiraling out of control, get clean, get help. So I did respect that he did put that out there to the people because that man was a mess. And you know what actually prompted him to change and do better? You know, it wasn't when things went left and he got socked out by WAC 100 for the whole internet to see which we'll revisit that and speak a little bit more on that in a moment it wasn't that it was when he ended up getting arrested one day when he was high as a motherfucker he got pulled over by the uh, police or the police pulled up on him when he was parked or some kind of traffic stop went down and stitches handed the police a blunt and said yeah no i'm smoking i just got some weed and then they searched the whip and I believe they ended up finding some weapons or something else. And that's what ended making stitches, you know, say, man, I got to I got to get clean. And, you know, it's it's good. He did do that, as I always let it be known on this channel. Y'all, if you were out here living that lifestyle, getting high or, you know, you think it's getting to the point where it's going to get out of control, quit while you're ahead. Or if it is out of control, do what you got to do to get better, because that's no way to live ain't nothing glamorous about being a junkie about being a tweaker about being a cokehead about being a meth head about being a molly addict there's nothing glamorous about it you know what i mean it's it's a it's a it's a dark road you're gonna go down things are going to get bad in your life but anyways back to stitches what do y'all think he's saying he's back on one um you know as we were just talking about his journey in the rap game uh, a few years ago, you know, like Stitches has been quiet as fuck for a while. You don't really hear that much uh, from him. He doesn't hit the headlines that much, like unless you just flat out follow this man and follow, 
you know, what he's got going on. You don't really hear much about Stitches anymore. A few years ago, when he jumped off the porch into this online digital rap game, he was all over the place, constantly going viral all the time. Like some of the stuff I was just saying a moment ago, the drug use, you know, the extra antics, constantly, you know, beefing with people. He did end up, you know, doing it to the point where he got on and got to a bag and changed his life and got to that next level of success. You know, and we've seen a lot of guys try to go that route and it didn't really pan out for them. But for Stitches, it did. You know, this dude definitely made him some M's in the rap game. And you hear him on there uh, in these messages where he was going off. He was saying something about, oh, you broke motherfuckers that be uh, inquiring about money. I don't know. It, it sounds kind of like he's talking about working with people like uh, prices. I don't know for collabs or features or, or what exactly he was talking about. But, you know, for anyone out there who does rap or you're just a rap fan, like, let's be honest. And I'm not trying to diss stitches when I say this, but let's just keep it 100 percent funky. I don't think anyone was ever like impressed with stitches rhymes. You know what I'm saying? Or um, maybe when he was in his prime, someone might have wanted a stitches feature when he was going viral all the time. But now I I don't think that like I, I don't know like I wonder what his collab prices are because I, I just can't see them being all high like that you know because um, he just as far as like bars and stuff like that stitches never really did it for me now someone commented on one of my recent videos uh, that had a mention of stitches in it and said yo but that brick in your face was a banger. And it 100% was. It was. That song was a banger. The Miami Heat were using it for warm-ups and everything. But uh, it wasn't just the music. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Stitches was the character, the personality, all the other antics we were talking about, all that in one. You know what I mean? But the song definitely was a banger. I, I, I won't front on that. But I don't know. Will Stitches ever really have a lot more success in the rap game. I mean, I know Stitches would probably be the kind of guy that if he did it, indeed see this video, he'd say, yo, shut up, broke boy. I got so much money in this, that, and the third. And he probably does have, uh, you know, some nice uh, finances going on and everything. I don't doubt that. I'm just saying I, I don't know that Stitches music, uh, he'll just ever get back to where he was before. And quite frankly, now that he's not all tweaking and you know geeked up on all different concoction of pills and potions and powders i don't know that he'd have the energy to withstand all that and, and have another run like that and if he did i don't know that his body would make it but stitches uh, another thing about him though that will always ensure him a decent amount of success like nothing crazy spectacular but will always keep him afloat on what he does put out is stitches tapped in with a fan base uh, kind of like uh, a cult following i guess we'll say in the way like icp has the juggalos and whatnot which stitches actually uh, appeared at the gathering of the juggalos multiple times i think i know he was there at least once for show but stitches has fans that really really love this dude that are probably always going to check into what he's got going on because let's be honest stitches did something that in the rap game a lot of the time is hard to do his old past as Lil Phil came up you know because the stitches persona was what had a lot of people caught up even if they didn't care for this man's music you know that crazy villain I, I sell blow I do blow and all that stuff and, and everything else that he had going on and then the old Lil Phil shit leaked out and Stitches kind of let people know, yo, you could be this in your past life, but you can still make it in the rap game if you use social media correctly. Now, something else, though, that will always be attached to uh, Stitches, in my opinion, was I look at Stitches as he birthed WAC 100. Like, that's your dad, WAC. You feel me? Like, don't get me wrong. WAC 100 was doing his stuff with his trucking company and, you know, uh, lurked his way into managing the game through different street politics and stuff like that. But as far as this uh, character all over the place, villain, tough guy, whatever you want to call it, of social media that everyone has, you know, grown to know WAC 100 as all started with stitches.
And we know that. That's a fact. Like, hit the comments, y'all. Let me know what you guys think. Because it was crazy, too, the way Stitches decided to troll the game. The game is another guy whose past has always kind of come into question. And a lot of people know he ain't exactly who his uh, hip-hop persona is. I'm not calling him a full-blown fraud or nothing like that. I'm just saying there's been things that came about, out about the game, like him being a male stripper and different stuff like that, you know? So it was kind of interesting the way Stitches decided to troll the game. And then they both are known for being bipolar and all over the place emotionally. But when the trolling with the game went too far to the point where he was waiting outside for him in the rain all that time and whack ended up putting him to sleep, uh, Stitch's homies ended up, you know, uh, jumping him shortly after that, reportedly for a little short change from whack 100 shit. They probably said uh, whack and then probably said, yo, we'll give you a game feature. We'll do who knows what exactly uh, was the politics all behind it. But they most definitely beat the brakes off stitches and whack 100 had that footage long before it dropped he even um, released on social media freeze frames of the video before it ever came out but the way whack became who he was all started off that incident you know whack was already doing stuff in the rap game and in the business world but stitches him knocking stitches out in a sense that's where whack 100 the internet guy came from and what gets even kind of crazier about all that was they end up like to this day whack 100 and stitches are cool if y'all don't believe me hit them either of them up on instagram and tap in with them i guarantee you they say yeah we talk all the time because shortly after that stitches dropped some stuff basically saying i'm going to seek management with whack 100 he actually ended up deleting it but it's just such a strange relationship like, yo, he knocked you the fuck out, you know, after your trolling campaign went wrong. And now he's your big homie or something. It was very, very bizarre. Then we also ended up seeing Stitches in an interview with DJ K Slay. And we know who Slay is tapped in with WAC 100. So it was just very, very odd when you look at it all. But now we see Stitches going on these rants again. You know, uh, what I just shared with y'all in the beginning of this video, what is your guys' thoughts of all this, his journey through the rap game, the future, what will it hold for Stitches? Let's discuss it all below in that comment thread and make sure to sub to the channel, guys. It's Jay Coffee Talk, daily content, music, news, sports, and much more. I love y'all. Thanks for tapping in. Look forward to talking with you guys in them comments, and I will catch you on the next video. Peace. Fuck a job.